My team, Oxford United, find themselves in a crazy position. We currently sit sixth in the league, which is a place in the playoffs. If we win the playoffs, of course, we go to the EFL Championship. We're currently in EFL League One. But the reason why this is so crazy is because the next three games we have are crucial. Today, we have Peterborough United at home, who are also in the playoffs, fourth in the league. On Tuesday, we have Lincoln, who are not in the playoffs, but they're just outside of them. Then we have Stevenage, who, like Lincoln, are not in the playoffs, but are just outside of them. The league is so close at the moment. So basically, we are entering what could only be described as a stress fest, as Oxford United try to beat the rest to the playoffs to have an opportunity to get promoted to the championship. Welcome to the first Oxford United vlog on this YouTube channel. It's Oxford United versus Peterborough United at the Cassandra Stadium. Let's get going. Sometimes I wish you wore a different colour because this this really stands out, but you know. God yellows! Right then. Uh, I can't even see the screen, it's so bright, but there's Zach. Right. Uh, <laughs> Oxygen United versus Peter, but what are you feeling? You think we're going to win? Oh, uh, yeah, 3 2. 3 2. Jesus, what a game that would be. Uh, no chance, personally, but you can't predict against your team. So I'm going to say we win. Uh, I'm going to say we win uh, just 1 0. I think it's going to be so close. That's your theatre of dreams. The real theatre of dreams. The cast out. Oh Jesus, no Brannigan. Jamie Cumming, Sam Long, Kieran Brown, Josh McEachran, Mark Harris, Finn Stevens, Tyler Goodrum, Ruben Rodriguez, Greg Lee, Josh Murphy, Owen Dale. On the bench, Simon Eastwood, Jordan Thorney, Billy Bowden, Marcus Brown, Austin Smith, James Henry, and Marcus McGuane returns, but no Brannigan. Yeah, that's uh that's really bad, yeah. He's our best player. So, uh, yeah. Shit. You. Right then, arrived at the Kassam. Time to head inside. Yeah, we're losing. I don't know, I don't know how many times you can hear those words come out of my mouth today. Uh, I've got no confidence whatsoever, but let's go buy a program. Look at the Kassam, isn't it beautiful? No, it's not. Alright, just one program please. Four pounds, please. Excellent. Appreciate it. Hey, well, it's a nice day for it, isn't it? Yeah, at least we're getting back at six nil in the nice weather, yeah. And welcome our Here we are, the North Stand. It's where me and Zach sit every week. We've got a spike at the villa. Right then, in the seats, aren't we? Uh, North Stand Rose Ed seats 1989, as always. I'll tell you what, we just queued like four hours for some drinks, so these better be like the best drinks I've ever tasted in my life. Like, honestly, it better like change my life, you know, get me inspired and get three points. Who can we see down there? Greg Lee, Marcus McGrain, Kieran Brown, Sam Long, uh, James Henry. Looking good. And there's the best young player in League One, Tyler Goodrum. Trust me, that, that boy's going to do a big thing, but today he's got to get us three points. A little look around the Kassam. you got the South Stand over there. you got the, the East Stand, which is where all the noise is, but the view's a bit rubbish, so I don't sit there. And then you've got where we are, the North Stand. And then you've got the West Stand. Oh, shit. Oh, 
into a yellow Take it, but obviously he's he's injured, so we believe in you. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! 
Murphy's so good. Oh, unlucky. It's all right. We go again, we go again, we go again. Oh, it works. Oh, another attack. This has to be a dream. This cannot be the Oxford United. This cannot be us. It can't be three. It can! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm making a fool of myself. But that's what football's about. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a different tree. I feel like I'm gonna wake up in a minute. These guys are above us in the league. Normally when we perform like this, it's against teams that are practically already relegated, which was us last season, but this, this is unbelievable. Cheerio, cheerio! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Back to it's not half time! And I've just gone, oh! Because it's not 4 0. Good. Unreal. We can get a half time. Oh, we have got a guess. So we're gonna we're gonna ask him if you can. Thoughts on that half time fast? Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, that's all you can so say. But well, I mean, some people will say lucky to get a pen, but the build up towards the pen, unreal, could have been a goal in itself. We just got fouled. They, they only fouled us because they shat themselves. The second one, yeah, that's pure luck. We can't deny that. The third one is beautiful play from us. And to be honest, it could be six, it could be seven, it could be eight. We have been playing some of the best football I've, I've seen this season. Unreal. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's just championship level stuff. Just got to keep up second half. We bottled a 2 0 lead at half time before. Actually, it was 2 1. We bottled it. We started to in the 45th plus 2 against Derby. But this is different. I just feel the vibe is different. We, and also, you can't bottle a 3 0 lead. Like, no one does that. Apart from Luton against Bournemouth, that, that did happen. Shit. People players are out earlier than us doing some sort of on the pitch team talk. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna need some team talk. Big second half, boys. But what? No. Do what you want. Just score some more goals. Peterborough have made four substitutions at half time. Rattled maybe? Come on then! Same again, 6 0.
place. I genuinely can't believe it. United FC, we're here by far the greatest team there's ever seen. This is what we're saying. We are Oxford, we are Oxford Buckingham is our king. Rodriguez off for Marcus McGuane and I think uh, one more as well but I'm not sure Ruben Rodriguez got injured so I hope he's alright decent player he's been unreal today Ellie Bowden came on as well I don't know who for I think Owen Dale yeah it looks like Owen Dale they've taken it Tackling, please, boys. Lipping air, you don't like this. It's fucked up. Falling it up, but I'd like to keep a clean sheet. Good defending. Oh, oh that could have been Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown's first goal back. Oh, well. More subs coming on. Two. Josh McEachman coming off for James Henry. Uh, and the second one, we'll find out in just a second now. Goodrum's also coming off, and he's being replaced by. As you can't see who it is, Osseen Smith. He scored an absolute banger against Charlton. Can he do it again today? Swindon can be seventh for four today. I think so. Attendance 10,000 
Socks United, there we go to Wembley! Wembley! So then, back home, I'm just on my phone, I haven't had time to set up all the fancy equipment, but look, I'm just in shock. A 5-0 win is more than I ever could have imagined from that game. I genuinely thought if there was going to be a 5-0 scoreline, we were going to be uh, on the end of it. But once again, this team amazes me. You know, this is Oxford United team, by far the greatest football team, you know, the world, the world has ever seen. I could waffle on, but to be honest, every single player deserves praise, especially Josh Murphy for being man of the match, especially Ruben Rodriguez for his brace, Billy Bone with that fantastic chipped goal, and let's not forget Mark Harris with the penalty, but like I said, every single player has been fantastic. And let me just say, to our manager, Des Buckingham, what a legend he is, you know, stepped in when Liam Manning left, and, you know, everyone was heartbroken, you know, through all the time that you know, the club, the others' fans were struggling with the results we were seeing. I had a strong feeling that we would see Buckingham Ball somewhat soon. And I, and I knew that, that he would be the right choice for us. In the uh, I met him at a Killington game. Lovely, lovely guy. And is proving to be a fantastic manager. I'm going to leave you with some fantastic full-time scenes from the Oxford United uh, Twitter and Instagram pages. Um, look, make sure to like and subscribe. You know, it means more than you can imagine. Let's push for those playoffs. Let's stay in the playoffs. Let's win the playoffs. But to be honest, if we stay in League One next season, I'm still going to be supporting this fantastic club because I just, I just love it.